Welcome back, collectors. I'd like to start this week by thanking fellow YouTuber Dustin Witty for the idea, or for the inspiration, rather, for this video. By the way, he has a wonderful channel. If you have not seen it, I'll put a link in the description below. Please go over and check out his content. He recently did a video where he discussed a gas ration coupon from the 1970s and it reminded me that I had some coupons from World War II. So I thought you might like to see them. What you're looking at here, and I'm going to pause the, for a moment let you read everything you can see in front of you. I've covered up the name of the individual. Um, of course I knew them. They're long gone but out of respect to the family I would rather not show their their name but this is for a, a stamps for fuel oil um, that people used to heat their homes and so let's look at the uh, some of the instructions here wars demands for food shoes and petroleum products are almost unlimited the world today is burning gasoline and oil at record rates military needs comes first I won't read the whole thing, but I'll leave it here for a moment so you can see it. And then it gives you instructions on how to use the coupons and that they're really still the property of the Office of Price Administration. And that they must be returned. I wonder if that's one of the reasons why, at least the ones I've seen in the past, are all from the end of the war. Please comment below if you know the answer to this question. People must have been required to return unused stamps in order to get new ones. Here is another war ration book from that same period. This one is um, apparently for a lot of different goods. Again, I'll, I'll uh, hold this here for a moment. You can pause the uh, video if you wish to read all this. Um, number two there says, each stamp authorizes you to purchase ration goods in the quantity and at the times designated by the Office of Price Administration. Without the stamps, you will be unable to purchase these goods. So apparently the need for the stamps and the number of stamps must have varied at different times during the war. And again, I look at number four, do not throw this book away. When all of the stamps have been used or when the time to use them has expired, you may be required to present this book when you apply for subsequent books. So, very interesting part of, uh, of our history. Let's look at the stamps themselves. You can see some of them look like tanks. I guess that's an aircraft carrier, I suppose. Not really sure what that's supposed to be, but that's what it looks like. And some of them look like airplanes. So. Let me know if you're interested in seeing these little pieces of history. I have a few things like this. I never thought about showing them on my channel, but Maybe I'll do that too, as well as the coins and the currency. Hope you're all doing well, and thanks for stopping by.